Okay, guys, uh, never thought I did, I'd do this video um, immediately after I finished reviewing this video card, okay? So I have the uh, AMD 7900 XT that I literally just bought a few days ago. I was trying to finish doing my unboxing and first impression video, as you can see right here, and I couldn't because it just keeps crashing in DaVinci. Um, I'll show you guys and I'll try to reproduce this, this problem, okay? So now we are in DaVinci and I'm, you know, just trying to preview what the, uh, what my editing was like. And then I'm gonna drop in a few extra clips. Let's see. And this is already the fourth time it's happening, okay? So I'm gonna show you guys what the heck is going on. All right. And I have a feeling it's gonna crash. Let's see. So it's crashing and it, the screen is going to go black. Check it out. See, it froze. Screen goes black and, uh, and it's going to give me that. Oh, wait, where is the arrow? So it it's always gives me that arrow message. Um, maybe it's on the other screen. Let's see. Yeah. And interesting, I put it on the other screen. Let me see. Um, Oh, it disappeared. Right here. The AMD bug report tool with a driver timed out occurred message. This is, uh, again, the fourth time. And uh, I might have a solution, okay? So I, I probably figured out why. And uh, so if you have a DaVinci Resolve and you have a 7900 XT and you installed AMD's newest driver, try to revert it back. This is what I'm gonna try to do, okay? So off the screen, I'm gonna try to install the older version of the driver and see if this issue still happens. And I'm thinking this is pertaining to the newest driver. All right, guys, so I did find a temporary resolution or solution to the problem with the AMD 7900 XT uh, keeps timing out in DaVinci Resolve 18, okay? so I. I'm gonna show you guys that this this version of the driver actually works fine. So I'm in the editing tab, and you can see right now the movement of of the preview is very smooth. the The driver is definitely working fine over here, and it's it's not okay. It's working fine. Okay. So how I did, how I did find out is I tried different versions of the driver and unfortunately most of the recent drivers for the AMD um, is, is, not, is not working fine. Like the 23.2.1 is the version that actually works. So in order to get this version, you can't really go and download the Adrenaline edition of the driver you actually have to use the auto detect and install function when you go to AMD website. You download this based on your, uh, if you have Windows 11, of course you download the Windows 11 version. And if you have Windows 10, you download auto detect and install driver. You download this little app. Once you have this downloaded and you run that app, it gives you an option at the very beginning of the install installation. Let me see if I'm able to run that app again. Here's what happens, like when you run that auto detection software, it detects your software version and it gives you two options to install. And this one is the one that's gonna break the DaVinci Resolve. You want to install the version 23.2.1. This is the, um, the stable version that will not crash and give you the timeout problem with DaVinci Resolve, okay? So install the 23.2.1 version, okay? Again, do not use the newest one or anything that's 23.4, .4 because those drivers just breaks DaVinci Resolve and gives you the timeout issue, okay? Uh, for me personally, I clicked the advanced options and I did a minimal install. So I didn't use the full install because again, I don't, I don't tweak any of the settings. I just use the standard and most of my work is content creation. I do occasional gaming. Um, if you do a lot of gaming, then 
the full install with a whole bunch of software packages that's customized for gaming might work for you. But for stability reason and for compatibility with DaVinci Resolve, I suggest install the minimum version and install the old 23.2.1 driver, okay? Um, that will ensure a smooth preview and editing in DaVinci Resolve and it will not give you the timeout error uh, during your uh, editing process. Okay, so that's my workaround that I found out. Hopefully this helps you guys. My other option obviously would be returning the card and get an NVIDIA, but again, the, it's cost prohibitive to go for NVIDIA for the same performance of the AMD. And I would actually run the older version of the driver and just sit out until they have a new driver that fix this timeout issue with the 7900 XT or the 7900 XTX when using DaVinci Resolve, okay? Um, again, thank you so much for watching. Please do hit the like button or sub subscribe to my channel if you found this video helpful. Um, and I'll see you in the next one, okay? Take care.